Can you please state your name? I'm Gail LeBauer, or Gail Malavan LeBauer, which is my maiden name. And can you please share about a personal object that is imbued with significance to you as a Jew? Um, one of the significant objects that I have in my home now, that is a, we have just moved, are two beautiful oval portraits of my grandparents on, on silk from the 19... Hundreds, the early 1900s that were done when they got engaged in 1907. So my grandfather um, was in, from the Austro-Hungarian Navy. He was accepted to be into the Navy because he was tall and blonde and blue-eyed, though Jewish. So they made an exception for him. My grandmother was from a little town in Transylvania, um, was Hungary, now Romania. And those portraits just ground me in the traditions that I have come from um, and just uh, I have many different traditions because uh, my grandfather on my father's side was from southern Poland. My father's mother was from Lithuania and um, then we had the Hungarian side. Within Judaism there was castigation of ranking because the Lubavitch, or uh, the, the um, people from Lithuania, Lith Litvox, considered themselves the highest level. Uh, the Hungarians considered themselves not going to speak Yiddish, they spoke only Hungarian, and they were, uh, didn't want to be identified as Eastern Europeans. And then the Southern Polish were called Galicianers, so it was considered a very mixed marriage. Um, I had the best of both worlds because the Hungarian side went to Reform Judaism in Cleveland, Ohio, and Rab Rabbi Abba Hillel Silver was our rabbi, who was the person who went before the United Nations to argue on behalf of the State of Israel. He was an incredible intellect, orator, and as I always say, he gave me all my SAT words. Um, on my father's side, his father had, sh had founded the Shomrei Shava Shul, which was the ultra-Orthodox shul in Cleveland, Ohio. So it, to me it was a, a divine intermarriage and I got the intellectual historical literature part and I got the ritual part. Um, so I have many items in my home that I could bring. I have many talit to fill in. These are ritual objects for prayer. Um, and it's just uh, what I really have in my heart is a very, very sacred tradition that goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and I hold that dearly, that those were my grandfathers. Or as my daughter, who's a violinist, was asked in the third grade, who are your ancestors? She said, Abraham, Isaac, and Stern. <laughs> but that's just because she felt that Isaac Stern must have been her ancestor. But at any rate, it's, it was a home very rich with music very rich with tradition, very rich with Yiddish words that I learned as a child because I knew when people were speaking in Yiddish, they were speaking about me. <laughs> so <laughs> you learn quickly to understand those things. And um, again, I don't have any objects with me, but I have treasures that live in my heart. And uh, ritual and tradition is very, very important to me. And thank God it's become that important to my children. So, thank you. Thank you.